Hello, my name is Brian Gill. I'm a gastroenterologist here at Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital in Plymouth. And the topic I wanted to discuss was Clostridium difficile colitis, also known as C. diff. C. diff is an infection that causes a significant amount of diarrhea. It has also had a major impact on the healthcare system, resulting in hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations annually, billions in healthcare expenditures, and significant death rate in patients. C. diff affects both men and women equally, and the risk factors include recurrent hospitalizations and recurrent, recurrent exposure to antibiotics. In patients who are exposed to antibiotics such as clindamycin, levofloxacin, and ciprofloxacin, among others, there is alteration of the natural protective bacterial flora, and C. diff can germinate and clinical manifestations can take place, including abdominal pain, cramping, and diarrhea. If C. diff is suspected, it can be diagnosed with a highly accurate stool test. If the diagnosis is confirmed, treatment can be begun with either metronidazole or vancomycin. Approximately 70 to 80 percent of patients have a cure rate with the standard course of antibiotics. However, that leaves approximately 20 to 30 percent of patients who have a recurrence of symptoms or do not respond at all to traditional antibiotic therapy. It is with this subset of patients where we have been employing a modality called a stool transplant in which meticulously screened donated stool is instilled into a large intestine. This has a cure rate of approximately 90%, which parallels that in the published literature. With recurrent C. difficile colitis, stool transplantation has rapidly been becoming the standard of care, and all patients and healthcare providers should be aware that stool transplantation is an easy, successful, and cost-effective means of curing recurrent C. difficile colitis.